when you talking to me come build it was the can't raise a man for me i have no kids so i'm not about to be raising no boy whatever you gotta do protect yourself protect your heart and let him protect you okay that's just that let's go hey guys welcome to and welcome back to my channel it's your girl Janelle lauren here back again with another banger as you guys can see by the title today we're going to be doing a girl chat while i do a face mask if you guys watch my target haul you probably have an idea what face mask i will be putting on today i kind of already started using it but we're just gonna finish it in this little packet you guys can barely see but in this little packet i'm able to use it three times it works really good on my skin i feel like using a face mask today because you guys wanted a girl chat and i kind of didn't know what to do while doing a girl chat and my skin is in desperate needs of one we hop into the video today do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up to drop a comment and most importantly hit that subscribe button and join the lauren gang because i'm lit and i know you want to be lit with me and that's just that so let's hop right into the video so before i apply my face mask i like to use it with a makeup brush so this is just a kylie cosmetics makeup brush and areas i'm going to be focusing on are my forehead my t-zone probably underneath here because i have a pimple and maybe my cheeks i really do like this face mask i highly recommend it it's only like two dollars from target so everybody go get it i haven't done a sit down video in so long so it feels good to be doing this today so i asked you guys on instagram what do you guys want me to talk about but before we even hop into those topics let's do a little life update i was supposed to be posting videos monday wednesday friday but now a homegirl has a job so these videos won't be posted Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Though I don't even know what schedule I'm going to be on because I don't know how hectic my life is about to be. Because last summer when I worked at Zara, um, I barely had time to do YouTube. But I will be trying to still put out videos for you guys. I know after like July 4th, I plan on starting my college whole thing on my channel. So what not to bring to college what do you need college hauls i'm definitely going to be dropping some styling videos i was supposed to be dropping a styling video on friday however it came out really short i didn't even get to say this but thank you guys for getting my sneaker collection to a thousand views i didn't want to show a lot of sneakers because i didn't want anyone to think i was bragging maybe i'll do a part two but probably not because i really don't want to because like i said don't want to give up that impression i will be going back to penn state penn state was trying to figure out like what are they going to do for the fall i know a lot of you guys who are going to penn state have discovered my everything you need to know about penn state video if you haven't watched that go watch it right now but a lot of you guys have discovered that video and from watching that video you have discovered me hello a lot of you guys are also asking me to do another penn state video answering questions i'll probably do one more before we go back to school but i just want to make this very known i'm not admissions i don't get paid for this if you have a question call admissions um i don't know everything about penn state you guys want to know about the application process i didn't do the application my mom did it a lot of people are emailing me dming me Please don't email me about questions about Penn State. It's summertime, but I'll do it for you guys because, I mean, you guys are supporting me, so I'll help you. But if I do do this video, this will be my last video for the whole entire year on Penn State. My channel is not a Penn State channel. Like I said, if you have any questions about Penn State, call admissions because they do not give me a check for this. Let's dive into the topics that you guys wanted me to talk about, which most of you guys really wanted me to talk about relationships, and I don't understand why. A lot of people tend to not listen to my advice, but I give very good advice in my opinion. Someone wanted me to talk about getting over situationships slash relationships. How long should the talking stage be? First of all, there's no such thing as the talking stage. I don't know why us millennials want to label things. Like, it's not talking, you're texting. I feel like the minute you go out on a date, we're dating. <laughs> what do you mean? A lot of y'all want to talk will have this talking stage for nearly a year what are we talking about for a year i'm not gonna sit here and talk to you for a year I, what do you mean talking stage if somebody come up to you and just be like oh what do y'all do oh we just talking no. no 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 it's either we're dating or we're nothing i just don't feel like i don't know it's non-existent it's just something that we have put a title on to eliminate commitment as much as possible and it's like if you don't want to be committed 
just say that if a guy or a girl is telling you after five months plus that you guys are still talking just take it as a sign as they sorry guys i ran out of storage i definitely need to get a camera very soon after five months someone is still telling you that you guys are just talking i would take that as a sign that they don't want anything more and that you should definitely go and find you better especially if that's something that you want people swear that they be talking for a year or we're just talking for a year plus no you're in something that's long term that they just don't want to add a title to and they probably will never have a title to it and you should stay away from people like that honestly stay away from people that don't know what they want and stay away from people that are just scared to take a rest and scared to be committed because that's how you end up in an engagement for like six years because they're scared to take their final step and that's something that's very wrong with our generation we are very scared to be committed i mean a talking stage is a way for people to not take commitment seriously situationships sorry that's another fake thing like that's just what we title things so that we don't have to be committed and stay away from boys like that boys who don't know like i'm tired of hearing oh we're still young no you should know what you want if you don't know what he want he don't want you because the guy that knows what he wants wants you leave the boys that don't know what they don't want alone and that oh child this is what i really wanted to talk about stop I repeat, stop for the people in the back. Stop building up these holes. Whether it be a male or a female, don't build them up. You're not Bob the Builder. You're not Handyman. You didn't go to school for architecture. Stop building people up because what y'all be doing is you're building this boy up for the next female, for his wife. Don't do that. Come build. When you're talking to me, come build. Because I don't have time to be building you. Okay, Michelle said, it was the can't raise a man for me. That's what it was. You want to be built? Go to your mother. She could build you, not me. She done made you. She could build you. I'm not building you. Sorry, I don't have no kids. So I'm not about to be raising no boy. I'm not about to be teaching no boy. No, you can't be coming over here trying to curl when I'm already walking. If we're not on the same energy, just stay away from me. Because that's how you end up in something very toxic. That's how you end up in something that's very complicated. And it's 2020. We don't have no time for complications. We don't have time for people that don't know what they want. We don't have time for people that want to be built. Because I'm not building nobody. I'm sorry, I'm building myself. And that's just that. Y'all be building people and taking away from your own blocks. Don't do that. Listen. I don't got no time to be played with, so don't come and try to play with me. You want to play with somebody? Go make a kid and go play with them. Otherwise, leave me alone. I can't even call them men because they're not men. They're boys. They're small boys at that. Sometimes I can't even lie to you. Us females, we really be doing it to ourselves. Because if a small boy tells you what he want or what it is, believe him. Don't think that you could change him. If he tell you straight up, I do not want a girlfriend don't don't take it as i say less you're gonna when you finish messing with me you're gonna want a girlfriend no he's dead serious you cannot change nobody somebody who is gonna change is gonna change because they wanted to change they wanted to change for you stop trying to change people because all you're gonna do is waste your own energy on them you're gonna destroy yourself you're gonna break yourself down and we don't have time for that okay we want who's gonna treat you like a queen is worth your time stop wasting your time on these peasants I keep telling y'all that whether it be your friends or a boy or family members people who act like peasants and you know that you're a queen they don't deserve your time they don't deserve your energy and that's on period y'all really need to get it together it's quarantine if he's not texting you back he don't want to talk he got nothing else to do you can watch all but so much netflix hulu youtube and let's be very honest Half these boys don't have no Netflix or Hulu account. They're using their ex-girlfriend's Netflix or Hulu account. Second of all, ESPN, there's no sports right now. So he's really bored. Third, he's not watching all these DDG videos. He just don't want to talk to you. Take that as a sign. I know y'all probably like, Janelle, you done went over the same spot 15,000 times. But honestly, like, I like to put this face mask on thick. I'm about to let it do its magic, though. And back to what I was saying. Honey. The boy that you're dealing with probably nine times out of ten, no, not even nine times out of ten, ten times out of ten can't break and bag you. And nonetheless, that should not be a reason why you're staying in something that's very toxic. Ugh. This is the one thing that I hate. You can have a failing relationship with someone that is terrible for you. 
Why do y'all believe to have a kid? Why y'all gotta bring a baby into this? A kid is not gonna help you make somebody act right. Person that wants to act right is going to act right. If he's playing games, it's cause he thinks you're a game. You see how I look right now? He think you a clown, okay? Whenever someone shows you how they come in, believe them. If a person does something one time, okay, it's a mistake. If they do it a second time, it's a choice. Okay, I was letting the face mask sit for a little bit. I'm there. I want me to talk about normalizing. Uh, we need to stop normalizing toxic relationships. I completely agree with this. Please stop. If it's toxic, leave. Like, I don't know why we have to just fit this ideal of the ride or die chick. Let's normalize leaving leave him like i've been saying in this whole video if he shows you once he'll show you twice you don't need to be a ride or die let him ride or die for you i just want to remind y'all that all it takes is for you to get your hair done your nails done and post a cute picture on instagram and he'll be right back so till you find someone that's on your timing on your energy let's just remember that you cannot like him until he love you and that's just that um this face mask is drying up and it's almost time to wash it off so i'm going to just cut this video short right here i hope you guys like my advice you could definitely do a couple more of these videos but i like to just talk sometimes sometimes i just don't like to do videos where i have to do things I just, so comment down below if you would like for me to do more videos like this comment down below whatever else you want to see on my channel do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up to drop a comment and most importantly hit that subscribe button and join the learning gang until then i'll see you guys in my next video bye